energy efficiency is on the heart of solving our climate crisis and that matter also the resource efficiency. And buildings are then again on the heart of energy efficiency. Buildings represent uh, about 40% of uh, EU's final energy consumption and 36% uh, of the CO2 emissions. So that really matters how we build and construct the buildings of the future. But not only that. According to estimates, about 80 up to the 90% of the buildings that are going to be on 2050 in the Europe exist already. So the big question is, how do we renovate the existing uh, uh, buildings? And the question is that we could save up up to 42% of the total energy consumption. We could cut down 35% of the CO2 emissions and we could save up to more than 50% of the resource consumption if we would do the buildings and renovate them cleverly. The question then is, of course, that then when you renovate, you would need to do so-called deep renovation. According to information and studies, approximate time of the deep renovation of the building is about 30 years. So it actually doesn't make sense that you renovate 5% energy efficiency every 5 or 10 years. It is this kind of a suboptimal choosing of windows, uh, uh, heating systems or insulation. The idea is that when in the building's life cycle there's the time for deep renovation, you do all and you do it as well as you can. It means the best available technology principle in all on the parts and elements of the building. In materials, in insulation, in heating and cooling, in energy production. Because not only we would need to improve the energy efficiency of the existing public and private buildings, housing, and consumer and production buildings. We would need to increase the production of the renewable energy, especially the solar, in all of our building capacity. And that then actually would increase another 50% on those figures, so we could actually increase our energy turnover uh, up to 70%. CO2 emissions could be cut down about 60% and then again the total uh, amount of the materials would of course rest in the same uh, 50%. So actually this is a challenge for our legislation, for our uh, constructors, our standards and our design on the building capacity on different areas. When you renovate, what materials you use, how you develop the standards for the best available technology, and then again, how you incorporate the produced renewable energy on the existing grid. But actually, as you can hear and see, the savings and the impacts are enormous. Actually, the buildings are the biggest block what we can use on combating climate change and having this tenfold uh, resource efficiency. We have the knowledge. We know how to build and renovate with modularity so that the parts are reusable. We know how to build a zero uh, energy consumption houses, passive houses. We know how to integrate the newest technology, the smart grids on the existing capacity. The question is, how do we kickstart this transformation? In city level, in private, in public, in financing, 
in incentivizing, for example, the loans uh, and the values of the buildings in uh, uh, guarantee side. And I hope that you, are, you all are the part of uh, this changing and transformation process. You uh, give us the master plan, the examples and the spirit. All the best and let's make energy efficiency reality in all parts and especially in buildings.